Honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of bell peppers. They're probably one of my least favorite vegetables unless they're roasted or slowly cooked until they're jammy like this pepper and It's somewhere between a condiment and a side and it's so versatile and I love to have it around in my fridge. So I start by slicing up all of our veggies, onions, garlic, and the bell peppers. Then I heat up a hefty amount of olive oil and fry up the garlic until it's just lightly golden. Then I add in some anchovies and melt that down. And I know I use anchovies a lot, but I just love them. Next, I add in our onions and I cook them just a little bit to start to soften. And then I add in some red pepper flakes and all of our bell peppers. I cook that for about 15 minutes and then I add in all of our fresh tomatoes. And at this point, I also add just a touch of sugar and then I really just let this whole thing cook down. And you wanna cook this until everything's soft and concentrated, but not to the point where the skin starts to separate from the peppers. And often vinegar is added to pepperonata for a little bit of tanginess, but here I'm adding some pepperoncini along with a little juice. And lastly, stirring in some fresh oregano and parsley. And this can be used in so many different ways. It's great on a sandwich, it's good with Italian sausage, on some ricotta toast, or you can even cool it down and toss some pasta in and you got a lovely pasta salad. And I also love it just like this, topped with burrata, basil, and olive oil with some toast. 